think we're back with another episode because I need to know what's going on with this girl. There is no doubt about it. Rion Kugayama is suffering from angelic possession. I knew it. Angelic possession? What's that? I've heard of demonic possession, but I thought it only happened in the movies. In the short version, there's really no difference. It's a rare phenomenon whereby the victim gains certain abilities along with angel-like wings. When someone is possessed, reality around them breaks down, with the angel disregarding its host. It's a case of the eclipse bleeding into the real world. It's happened a few times before. Okay. So it's eclipse related. But, but giving people abilities... Yes, it's somewhat similar to the effect of greed would have. And it's most likely the same as what happened before, the work of a grim greed. See, there's something big and badass here. That's... That's no joke. You think it was the angel that appeared in the Abana factory? No, from what I could tell, that was only a kin. It's still much stronger than even an Elder Greed. I'm afraid Rion had somehow come into contact with the culprit behind all this before. That's when she was possessed and received her ability. The song of disaster carried by her voice could affect man and machine and could trigger an eclipse. I'm certain that this is what's behind all of the current incidents. That's really not good. Damn. At least we know what's going on. What will happen to Rion? Angelic possession is left to its own devices, will eventually turn its host into a kin. Eventually, she will turn into an angel and become an inhabitant of the eclipse forever. So we gotta go beat the shit out of this thing, because I am not losing my girl Rion. Not happening. A losing her. Another thing, who was that guy from yesterday? Hiragi and Hokuto seem to have an idea at least. You mean the guy in white, right? Yes, of course we know who and what he is. They are from an order known as Kronos Order. They are seal knights bound to the church. So he is religious. Ch church? By church, you mean the Church of the Holy Spirit, right? Yes, they primarily operate in Europe and in the West. They're dedicated to responding to eclipse-related incidents outside the purview of the main groups. In the underworld, we operate in there. Oh, we operate in... They are the third pillar alongside Nemesis and Zodiac. A third group connected to the eclipse. Great. These guys too, huh? While Nemesis and Zodiac maintain an admittedly wary relationship, the Seal Knights, aka Orden, are a mystery to everybody. The only thing anybody knows for sure about them is that they are dedicated to destroying the Eclipse. And individually, they possess more power than Nemesis, Enforcer, or anyone from Zodiac. I have no idea why he showed up, when he did, or how he managed to fight off the angel. But I'm afraid when the time comes, he will be on the move. When he will show no mercy, his goal will be to extinguish the eclipse and its cause from the world. He'll go that far? Holy hell! The more we hear about him, the worse it gets! But he's so cool! Doesn't matter. What do you mean, does it matter, dude? I don't care who he is or what he wants. Kugayama has been out cold since all of this crap started. To be honest, trying to make it so she can make the concert tonight is beyond hopeless at this point. I wouldn't say hopeless, we gotta still try. But, impossible or not, I made her a promise that I'd help her no matter what. So I guess I'll just have to deal with the situation and somehow get her to show on time. And this would be the XRC's first case, right? Well, first major case, maybe. Tokisaka. I see. Life is all about partying and kicking ass. Not about to let that change now. Partying and kicking ass is your way to live? Not gonna disagree that it's kind of dope sounding, but wow, dude. Oh, I agree. We also have to do this for all the fans waiting for Rion. Well, I have to admit, I've been getting into Speaker's stuff recently. Since I'm here, I might as well help out. Seriously, you guys. If it was just us, we wouldn't have nearly the reach we do now. Miss. 
Anyway, the game greed responsible for Rion's possession should be somewhere within the city. Tokusaka, do you have a plan? Let me think. First, we should let Kukuyama's family and the other speaker members know what's going on with her. Then, we should try to find out the when and where regarding her first contact. At the very least, we're going to need the information. What the? That's actually a good plan. Works for me. Another thing we should try to learn is where that angel-type kin from yesterday escaped to. You're right. Roger that. Anyway, let's get moving. It's still early, but we don't have a lot of time until the concert starts later this afternoon. Okay. Uh, Kyoka, I need you to arrange a few things. Of course, just leave everything to me. I'll summon the group responsible for suppressing angelic possessions immediately. Don't bother. I've already done so. Great. Purple suit's back. Ugh, I hate him. Look at him. Mr. Mikuria? Tomaki? Is the staff from Zodiac versed in these matters are here now. I've instructed them to begin the spell that will temporarily suppress the angelic possession. At the very least, it will slow down the corruption for a while. They can do that. I understand now. It's an extension of the Zodiac barrier spell. Thanks. Please take care of her. Just make sure you guys don't drop the ball. Kyoka, you need to make sure information about this doesn't get out. It'll be quite troublesome if the media found out that the leader of a popular idol group was in trouble. Uh, understood. May I miss? Yes, of course. I will also need you to track down some information for us. Tomoaki, thank you for your help. Of course, and good luck to you, my sweet femme or femme fatale. I don't trust him. He was talking to the Shroud, I do believe. So, yeah, it's an iffy situation. With that, the XRC began following a different line of investigation. After dividing into two... God damn it. Splitting up again. One team went to visit Rion's house, while the other went to Across Theatre. Awesome. Coup is required. Who am I taking with me? Um... Asuka... Shio. Yeah. It doesn't cover every base, but it covers most. Mitsuki is just not the best for me to use. She's just not. Listen to that. Those tunes are rocking, I don't care. But anyone tries to tell me. I hate how the mouse just keeps popping up too. It'll fade, but come on. I should let the other speaker members know about Kugayama. Today's their anniversary show, so they'll probably at the theater now. Whatever, it's not like we can avoid it forever. For now, we should try to find some more clues. Let's go talk with the front desk. Sure, I'm gonna save now also. Because I never got to yet. And, uh, be, be really useful too. Hello, front desk. Uh, I hit the wrong button. What do you got for me? Can I go in the staff only, please? Hello there, thanks for coming despite all the rain. What can I do for you today? Sorry to tell you this, but we explained that we had news regarding Rihanna for Spica. Hold on just a moment, please. Just keep it quiet. Hello? Yes, yes. I just got word from their manager. He wants you guys to come up to the theater right now. Please use the elevator. Thank you. All right, let's go. Even if we didn't get permission, I was probably gonna go do it anyway. They kind of need to know that their main act, I call her the main, if she has solos all the time, she's the main act. That, you know, she ain't gonna be able to make it maybe, unless we, you know, save her ass. Which hopefully we do. I like this character. Got cute personality, we, we good. The group is in the midst of rehearsals. Well, we explained what happened to Rion to Spica's manager. He's probably gonna be freaking his shit. Oh. She collapsed due to high, high fever, was sent to the hospital. I mean, I couldn't get in touch with her at all, but I wasn't expecting anything like this. The show, will she recover in time for the concert? 
Probably not, at least for now. No way. Tokisaka! Yes, hello, Spika. Oh, hey guys. Is it really true? Did Rayon really collapse because of a fever? What am I doing just standing here? I need to call the producer right now. Sorry, everybody, but I have to call. I have some calls to make. Probably. Um, it's Tokisaka, right? Can you tell us what happened in detail? If it's about Rion, we have the right to know, too. Okay. Almost mercenary like. I can feel their gaze burn into my soul. Man, these chicks are something else. Well, they are an idol group. I don't know what more you expect. They're probably ready to tear anyone's head off at any time if need be. Skirts and shorts. Hmm. So Rion is really. I'm really sorry. I told you guys to leave everything to me, too. No need to apologize. And thanks for letting us know about everything. I have to admit, I'm kind of shocked, but I am glad to finally know what's going on. With all of the strange stuff happening, no wonder the anxiety got to her. I wish she would have just told us all about it, dumb Rion. The strange stuff you mentioned, when did it start happening? I want to say about two weeks ago. It was around the time we came back from the Hot Springs trip. It seemed like every time we played live, something would happen. It was all just weird coincidences. Jeez, how could you think any of it was her fault? Maybe, but you can't deny that Rion was really concerned about it. She actually seemed scared during that show we did a couple of days ago. Really? That's right. The two of you have known Rion for quite a while now. Yes, we've known each other since we started training school. So, about five years now. Though, to be honest, I didn't really like her then, and I don't really like her now. Rika. Yeah, we're gonna have to cut that part out. She's just being coy. You guys always try to one-up each other, but it's obvious you two are friends, you're not fooling anyone. That's just not... Yeah, you guys really piss me off sometimes. They're all friends. Pretty cool, huh? Ah, I just remembered something. Rika, you know, during our debut... Oh, that's right. Something did happen then. Something? Yes, you see, three years ago, when we were just starting out, there was a definite paranormal phenomenon. A lot like the one that happened now. What? Really? This is the first time I'm hearing about it. We never felt it was worth telling you about. And at that time, the only thing that seemed to be affected was the sand equipment. Worse, it happened right after our debut performance, so we were still learning to work with each other. To say we were all feeling down would be an understatement. But Rion kept cheering me and Rika on. Right now, we have absolutely nothing to lose. Knowing that, we might as well keep going and see what happens in the end. Hearing her put things that way, it was like we had to keep going, just to see where we'd end up. After that, things started falling into place and our performances got progressively better. Before we realized it, all of the strange stuff that had been plaguing us is just kind of stopped. So this all happened before. Got to admit, I'm kind of jealous. It's a heartwarming story and all, but not really related to what's going on now. Well, something similar happened to them three years ago. Moromiya City just started having weird stuff happen this year. You're right, something's not adding up here. The discrepancies. I think there's a hint in there. Sorry about talking up so much. Well, taking, not talking up so much. Oh my god. Taking up so much of your time. We all should get going. Good luck with the anniversary show. I'm not doing it without Rion. Um, everyone, it may be too much of a ask, but may I ask a favor of you? A favor from us? We have to do our final rehearsal for our anniversary concert. So if you could, we want you to pass along a message to Rion. I see. Trying to do everything by herself and collapsing in a heap at the end? You bet I have a thing or two to say to her. You really need to be more honest with yourself. And I doubt Rion has given up on performing. She was looking forward to this moment more than anything. She loves singing more than any of us. Yeah, I'm sure she'd drag herself on stage if she could. She gets really greedy about taking all of the singing parts. Akira. 
But strangely, we all believed that in the end, we'd all be up on stage singing together. Is that so? Seriously, your positivity is overwhelming. But back on topic, hey you guys, how about this for a message? Better get your ass out of bed and get fuck work. We gonna do this concert one way or the other, that's the message. Right after that, we left the theater, and then set up a conference call with Kyoka and the other team members using his iPhones. Hey, it's connected to another unusual phenomenon from the three years ago, I see. But when, where, and how did Rion become afflicted with this angelic possession? Actually, we were wondering the same thing. Kyoka, could you look into it from your side? About Rion's past, I mean. Of course, I'll get right on it. Well, there's really no way of knowing until we check it out. If we manage to find anything, we'll be sure to let you know. Let's all do our best. Yeah, alright. Well, we can always try. That's all we got. Let's get going. Before we deliver the news, I want to see if we can find out anything else. Tokusaga, it sounds like you have something in mind. Well, yeah, we'll poke around other parts of the city. But first, we're going to our right show. Actually, it was Kagoyama that clued me in about the abandoned factory. I was practicing, trying to learn new techniques to improve my singing, but a bunch of strange stuff started happening at the karaoke place I usually went to. That sounds a little suspicious. Sounds like there's a very good chance of finding a clue there. We should definitely check it out. Alright, let's get going. Oh, there's so much, uh, so much reading in these last two episodes. Getting dry and sore jaw from it all. Now, where was that karaoke place that Kugayama always hangs out at? Does that where you have, like, five or six different ones? I didn't get the name of the store. No, I probably should have asked. But oh well, for now, let's just check out the place over there, on the corner there. If we guess right the first time, so much the better. Yeah, let's go to it. So really, now it's like a... Now it's a search. Oh, there really is good items. Okay. In the, at the corner? This one. The J stand. It's the only one I know of. The place Kugayama always goes to should have a few clues. Maybe we should check here first? Might as well. I'd like to go in and ask the employees, but now that I think about it, this might be harder than I thought. Yes, it's more than likely that Ryan comes here in a disguise. Oh, it's you, Tokusaka. Mr. Goru, you're everywhere I go. Good God. Uh, what are you doing here? Oh, right, you live around here. Yeah, my apartment is across the street. I know it's the weekend and all, but you shouldn't be here. Hold on, maybe. Mr. Saiki, have you seen Kugayama around here? Kugayama? Yeah, I've seen her a few times. She goes to the karaoke place pretty frequently. I saw her once at late at night, so I gave her a stern talking to. Why do you ask? We guessed right. Tokusaka? Yeah, let's go inside. Anyway, thank you. Well, sorry, Goru. The energy of youth, I guess. Wait a minute. What the fuck does this guy know? Is he the Shroud, maybe? I bet you he's the White Shroud. That'd make a lot of sense. That'd make too much sense. Hmm... He's either the Shroud or he's with that Orville. Like that churchy network. Can't remember the exact name right now. But I bet you he's with the church. Or he's the White Shroud. One of the two. A girl wearing a hat and glasses all the time. Yeah, she comes in here from time to time. She's pretty cute. I swear I've seen her somewhere before, though. She's a friend of yours. We're in the same class at school. We're also in the same club. It's kind of a research club. I have a brief spiel about the public face of the XRC. Ah, so you cruise around Moramiya checking out all the weird stuff that happened. Sounds pretty cool. For example, the rumors of strange occurrences happening here. Anything weird? Now that you mention it, there has. A bunch of customers said they heard a beautiful voice of a woman recently. All of the rooms were are soundproof, so I'm not sure where it's coming from or how they're hearing it. 
We checked for malfunctions, but didn't find anything. We're not sure what to do next. The voice of a beautiful woman. That'd be the angelic voice. No other explanation for that one. And we're gonna find... an eclipse. I'm getting a strong reading from the room in the back. Bingo! What's going on? Um, can we use the room all the way in the back? Yeah, sure, that'd be room uh, 107. Speaking of which, that's the room that one girl always asked for. The one way in the back. Oh, we threw it in cash to turn the room. Oh, right. oh, and news flashes have arrived. You know what, I'll read it some other time. I forgot his health was so high. That's pretty awesome. If the reading is coming from the inside this room, I should get some of the others to come with me if I'm going to go in. Entering the room will advance the story. Let's head on in. PM. Three. I don't know why it doesn't say 3 PM, but ah, whatever. Hey, whatever. Oh, great. Do we get the whole gang? Yep, the whole gang is here. Oh boy. The readings are off the charts. Stand back, everyone. But what color are we gonna get? What color eclipse are we getting today? Okay. Why did that happen? For the speakers music videos. Well then. Why is it playing the music video? Okay. Don't know why the TV was the eclipse. Don't know why the music video is the eclipse. But alright. An eclipse gate. I can't believe one would appear like this. There's no mistake you get there. This is definitely something to do with Kugayama. Let's get in there. Yeah. Well. That can only go bad. It was a red one. Those aren't good. Why couldn't we get a safe color? Like blue. And... It, mm, it's very purple. It's very... It's got some... I don't know. Kind of reminds me of... Poor spirit barrier. Well, it kind of reminds me if you're like into something for some strange reason. Because it kind of looks like a database. No mistaking if there's an angel type greed lurking up ahead. It's most likely the one behind everything here. Really? So it's kind of like the one that showed up when that fog hit. Yep, it's sort of akin, much like the one that was guiding Asuka. Well, yes, but. Alright, enough talk. Let's get moving. Yes, for Rion and the rest of Spica. Well, as a fan, of course, I'm going to give it my all for them. Hold on just a little longer. We'll definitely save you. It gets you to your concert in time. I have confidence in that, I guess. Strength, sure. Shadow, yep. Fire. Well, our team is already set and good to go. There's two wind, but I'm not worried about that. So now I can just do a nice little... Uh, and end the episode here. So as usual, you know, do the usual comment and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.